Hi, I'm going to show you how to draw a character. Easy step for beginners. Let's go. This is one of my characters. I call him Emox. I read him already. I use some switch layers and other stuffs. And this is another character. I call him Paxter. I use switch layers too. As you can see, I'm moving his hand. Yes. His eyes. Blinking his eyes. Ah. Uh, I'm going to use using um switch layers for his mouth. I sense. Now to begin new project, click on file and click on new to start a new project. So let's go. Now click on to draw shape tools to draw new shape. The one highlighted in the yellow is to draw shape tools. Select, select the type of shape you want and click on the curve vector to curve out the points and I'm going to add some points click on the add point tools the one you see highlighted with the yellow I'm adding some points I'm adding some points and I'm using the transform layer tools to change the shapes, transform the shapes. I'm going to add some points. I'm adding some points. Uh, this is just a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just drawing something to show you. Just want to draw some kind of more like. <laughs> Uh, I'm using the transform layer, the transform point tool to resize it. And now double click the layer and rename it. You rename it to know the type of layer you are working in. And click on add and add new vector layer. To draw new shapes and rename it. I call this torso. I'm gonna start drawing the neck. Click on the the, the draw shape tools. Draw. I'm coming to draw the neck. Add some points. Add more points. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm adding one only one point. I'm oh, sorry. Because it's just the neck. I'm going to draw another shape or like something like the body. <laughs> just want. I just want to show you something. Uh, how to write a character easy steps for beginners. So easy if only you understand okay I'm gonna carry it out carry this points oh the transform shape transform point sorry transform point tools I'm using the transform point tools to transform the shapes it has some sizes <laughs> yeah Adding some points. Adding some points. I'm using the transform point tools to get some shapes like like a <laughs> <I> body. <laughs> Trying to draw a body. Oof. That thing. Oh, I think I need to draw something like the eye. Okay. I selected another the, the head vector layer, 
and I'm going to draw something like the eye. I'm going to change the color of the eye. Oh, um, let me just use white. I select the oval to get some round shape to draw the eye, and I'm going to to use the select shape tools. The one you see highlighted, and I'm going to use the eye drop tools. Oh, sorry, not the address tool. I'm using the slash to still and change the color to something like yellow. Yeah, and change the color to black to get the out the, the, the over in the eye. I'll do something like the eye. Let me add some points to create something like the mouth. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, you see, oh, <laughs> I just, just want to draw something funny, you know. <laughs> oh, Oof. okay. Okay, let me add another vector layer to draw the hand. I'm going to call this hand. I'm going to call this hand. Yeah, I name it the hand. It's the first hand, so I can draw a new ship. Okay, I'm going to use the add drop tools to select. Same color, oof, sorry, that, that was black. Select the add drop tools. The one you see in the yellow, this is the add drop tools. Select the kind of color you want, and you see up there is change. And select the kind of shape you want. I'm doing the rectangle shape. I'm adding some points. And something I want to show you in order to get some exact measurement with this one is, is the grid. You use control plus G to get some exact measurement because whenever you are rigging the character, if it is not in line, it won't be read properly. So I, I switch on the grid tool get some exact measurement of the line so in other when whenever I'm going to read my character adding the bones it's going to be in order okay something else let me I select I, I'm using the transform point tool so I select it all copy and then paste because I don't want to redraw I just drew the full arm I don't want to redraw so uh, just copy and paste. Okay, so this is it. Let me draw the second hand around. I'm going to name this hand two. Hand two. Anyway, all left with you. Hey, you like it? You name it anyway. Yeah, just name this hand two. And I'm going to copy and paste the first hand. Because I don't want to, to, to redraw, you know, life is always thing the easy way. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm using the select shape tools to select all the shape. Or you can use control plus A to select all. You copy and then paste to the to the to the following to the next layer. I just I just want to do this easier. Yeah. Copy and paste it in the hand two layer. See, this is it. Let me let me face it to the okay, probably okay, yeah, that's it. Let me face the shape. Oh. Uh, I'm using the transform points tools to transform the points. Don't forget 
yeah i'm just repeating the news so you can get used to it yeah. we have shortcut keys for them yeah. if you want our points you just tap a if you want to curve out okay let me draw something like the pump yeah that's it okay. i'm curving this point out using the transform point too it to transform the shape uh, yes welcome to animation <laughs> okay i'm curving it out oh this hand is too big let me resize it let me resize it resize it make it a little bit small okay it's very very big <laughs> something for you to understand or oh, whenever I'm doing something like my first character like the pastor I got some easy ways to do it but this is just the beginning steps yeah you can check out my next video and see I just copy and paste yeah maybe you never notice it but I copy and paste because I don't I tell you I, Life is so easy, so don't do things the hard way all the time. To redraw this, that, that, this, uh, yeah. So just copy and paste because I'm just gonna, it's just the same hand. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw the legs. So I just add new vector layer. Add a new vector layer, sorry. And I'm going to draw the uh, new point. Let me put on the grid again have out the point I love to use the grid to get some exact measurement yeah. copy and paste don't forget Let me reduce the size. Okay. You can use grid to get some exact measurement. Don't forget. So whenever you are adding the bones, you can get it on set. Uh, let me draw the next leg. Leg two. Uh, copy and paste. Copy. Select all. You can use control plus a or use the select point tools the one you see highlighter is the step point the, the one yellow highlighter is select point tools or you can use control plus a select all and then control plus c control plus v copy and paste control plus c to copy control plus v yeah Ooh, ooh, ooh. see boots very very big boot yeah I'm gonna kick you 
<laughs> copy and paste and send it to the next layer and then this is just a free star hope you understand hope you are understanding okay i'm going to this i'm going to add a group to put all these layers in one group to reshape to, 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 to reshape it so i'm going to name him make mr big nose <laughs> big nose man here yeah. select all hold shift and click on each layer hold shift down and hold it and carry it to the group layer and you see it is when when all is in it you it is going to turn red as you can see i just put all in one group so i can use the transform layer tools this that is the one you see with that cross sign is the transform layer tools there are some differences i want you to know like the transform layer tools is different from the transform point tools the transform point tools is is for only one one ship now let me say that way one ship if you want to select a ship okay you see i select this ship this one is the transform layer tools because i'm using one i'm I selected one layer and i can i can move all the things in the layers i can you i can move them but when i'm using the transform point tools i only move a single ship you see this is the transform layer tools i'm using this is the transform point tools you see i can move a single ship i move a single ship with the transform point tools but for the transform layer tools i can move all the ships within the layers like you see the group layer i i'm using the transform layer tools to move all the things within the group yeah oh sorry i just came down to the timeline and there's something oh sorry okay as you can see i'm using the transform layer tools yeah now i'm going to add boom so i can be able to rig the character so go to new new and select the bone layer and drag the group layer in the bone layer you see when when you hold shift hold the, the group layer and then drag it to the bone layer hold the group layer and drag it in the bone layer is going to turn red and leave it it's going to turn blue and you see that all the the all what is in the group layer the bone layer is going to enter the bone layer <clears throat> so i'm adding some bones whenever you want to add some bones you see this is for adding bones and if you want to select the bone the one you see with the with the arrow sign is to select the bone this one is to select bones select the bones and the one with the cross sound is for adding the plus sound is for adding add new bones you add the bones you add another bone you select a bone so it can be parented i'm adding new bone adding new bones because i'm coming to wreck this character i'm coming to wreck this character select the bone add new bone select the bone and add bone add i'm adding another bone <gasps> okay sorry yeah you see i've added new bones now these bones are very very strong so you gotta reduce the strength so you see this one highlighted yellow is for the strength you 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 click on ctrl plus a to select all and and carry it 
hold all and carry it to the left all the strength are going to reduce and now i'm going to bound points or bound layer there are differences between bounding points and layer that one i just highlighted is for bounding the layers if you want all the, the shapes within the layer to be bounded you select the bound layer so i just bounded the head layer to the, the first bone layer and I, this is for the hand i bounded this you see this is for bounding points bounding points is different from bounding layers yeah you can select three points to be bounded and you can select a whole shape to be bounded you can select a whole layer to be bounded so i select the first whenever you want to bound a point or bound a layer you select the bones when you select select any bone and the bone you select the layer is going to be bounded to it so you select the bone you use b you click on b or you see you this this one the yellow is for selecting the bone and i just this one highlighted yellow is for bounding points i bounded the neck to this bone the one is the bone you see highlighted red is for is the is the, the bone i want to be bound bounded to the neck so i just let another bone and i want it to be i want the torso setting some part of the torso to be bounded to all it is this bone highlighted red so i'm using the bound point tools i select another bone i'm still in the torso torso layer i select the other bone the bone you see highlighted red I'm bounding the points. I'm in the leg, the leg layer. I select the boom and I'm going to bound it. You can use the, the transform points tools and to select all select all the points within the shape. Select all the points in the shape and then you bound it. I select, I select this one down the red as you can see it's highlighted red I'm going to bound it I select the bound point tools I bound it I don't want to bound the whole layer I'm bounding few shapes so I'm selecting them one by one to be I'm bounding them sync to be bounded to Certain shapes, as you can see, I select the boost and bound it to this one that the boom highlighted red. And I'm in the next leg, as you can see, I read this one, but I, uh -huh, you see what I mean? Not bounded this this other hand, so I'm come to bound it. Uh, and then you see how it look because. The reason why the legs are like this because I never use the grade for perfect shapes to draw the shape perfectly so I never use the grade so let me bound this here I select the bone and then use the transform point tools select all the points I want to be bounded to the bone and then bound it select the bound point tools and then bound it select the bone don't forget select the bone first then select the points you want to be back and then click up as you can see click up there you see back is bounded select all the shapes you want to be bounded and then bound it select the bone and then bound on these points yeah Point bounding is very important in animation because it, it's oh okay we need to resize we need to do some settings you see so now when you want to set this you go in the bone click on the bone layer 
click on the bone layer and use T click on T and it's going to resize the bone to, to make it perfect so I click on T I'm using the shortcut key sorry but <laughs> okay as you can see I want it to be within the cycle so it can it can move perfectly it can rotate I'm resizing the bone yes I want it to be rigged properly so as you can see it's in the middle yeah Set this okay okay let me set this okay <laughs> I love animation okay as you can see here yeah, it is okay a little bit though it's not hundred percent perfect I'm just showing you something but uh -huh, as you can see it's not hundred percent perfect but at least it's not like the first one so whenever the bones are not bounded properly as you see as you see this one the bones is not it's not set due to the point bounding so I'm going to resize the bone set it properly set this let me see this is in the center okay small 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 move let me set it a little bit okay okay let me see let me see okay Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Set it. Mm -hmm. Come down. Set it. Okay. Okay, as you can see, though it's not 100% correct, but you can set it yourself when you are doing your work. Take your own time, set your boom according to the points. Okay, oh, this other boom is twisted. Let me set it. Okay. This boom, these these bones are for the legs. Yeah, okay. Let me see this. As you can see, it's a little bit okay. Okay. Okay, as you can see. Though it's not hundred percent because I can see something like <laughs> like a fish shape in it. Yeah, okay. Oh hi buddy. Oh my legs are not straightening. Please set my legs. I set this one too. Let me set it. Press T. Click on the letter T on your keyboard. To set. I'm using a shortcut key T. Set your bone. Click on it. Set it. Transform the bone. Okay. Mr. Big Shoe. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you with my big shoe. Okay. Let me set this too because I know it's not set. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna kick you with my big shoe. <laughs> okay let me test it okay let me see oh, oh just a little bit i can this one is set this one is set let me set the other one let me set this one you see let me set this other one ok 
Okay. Just a little bit. And it'll be set. Whenever you want to transform the bone, make sure you are on the bone layer. The one highlighted blue. This is the bone layer highlighted blue. Click on it and then tap T, the shortcut key T to transform the bone. Change the shape, change the sizes. When you click on T, it's going to change the shape. You can use T to change the shape, change the sizes of the bone. Okay, my shoe, my shoe. Okay, let's see this. Okay, let me test it. My shoe. You, you type on set the letter Z, Z, the letter Z to manipulate the bone that is to say to move it to move the bone type z the letter z or you see look on the on the left the last on the bone on the bone row the last the last one on the right is the bone manipulation <laughs> it's for manipulating the bone <laughs> Okay, the character is getting set a little bit. Okay, let me see. Test, test. test the mic one to one to test my character one to one to. Okay, I'm ready to run. I'm ready to kick. I'm ready to kick you with my big boots. Ha 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 ha. I'm Mr. Badman. Who are you? Okay, let me see something. I just came down to the to the who to the timeline. I'm in the timeline. You can use your arrow key, tap it one time, the arrow key on your right, tap it one time to get in the in the timeline. And then move the when, when you move the character, it's going to perform. And you see. Whenever you are in a timeline, when you touch any 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 of the bones, it's going to you you see in the timeline where you see in the red line, you see some dot dots. Yeah, that's the keyframe. You use keyframes to move the characters. Yeah, I'm just trying something. Let me see. Let me show you some some movement. Just a freestyle, not actual, not the perfect movement, you know. As you can see, he's moving. Hmm, I'm gonna kick you with my big boots. <laughs> Let me see something. I just, I'm just trying something. Okay, it's not perfect. Not even two percent perfect. Not two percent perfect. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Let me see that cycle. No cycle won't be okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me play it and see. Let me play it. No, it's not correct. Okay. Let me change it. Smooth. It's less smooth. Okay. As you can see. He's acting like he's moving. <laughs> okay. This is what we call animation. Yeah. This is what we call animation. Let me move this keyframe. Let me delete this keyframe. Okay. This is your character. This is your character. I'm ready to kick you with my big boot. I'm ready to blow you with my wire hands. I'm the wild geese. Okay, this is Mr. Pastor. Mr. Pastor is telling you to change because time is coming. Change, change. The time is coming because heaven is looking at you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pastor. So, this is it. 
hope this little tutorial help you a lot the more you practice the more you become perfect this character i drew was one of my it is oh, sorry it's one of my best character i call him pasta uh, i drew him some some time back because i wanted to use i want to use him i'm not i'm not wanted but i want to use him for a cartoon the animation the comedy he is a pastor yeah uh, change 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 and he will be preaching his congregation telling them to change because the time is coming so he's telling you now change heaven is looking at you change so this is it hope this little tutorial help you a lot you can use it to improve you can still look up search ah oh, I have I have one of my favorite is pop Twiggy. yeah pop Twiggy. and search for him we're gonna show you more He's my favorite animator. I learn so much from him all the time. Yeah. Pop Twiggy, search for Pop Twiggy on, on, on YouTube. Watch some of his videos. He's gonna show you more. And you are gonna be perfect whenever you do it all the time. Room was not built in one day. So you gotta keep on doing it all the time to be perfect. Yeah. Myself, I learned it. Not, not one day yeah you see like this character I use switch layers I use so many things to build this my character the background at the back as you can see the background you see the star yeah you can see his hand I use switch layers let me show you what I mean let me show you as you can see I use this one I call it Kengo yeah, low haircut. See, and change his hair. I can change the hairstyle. Yeah. The one on the left and the one on the right is just the same. I just duplicated it. Yeah. You can duplicate characters and change them. Change the style. Change the hair. Like you see, his hair has changed. And his hand. You can change the skin color. So many things you can do. So many things you can do to make the character different. You can use one character to make a whole movie all left with you. You can use switch layers to that. You can use a switch layer to make different different character. One character make you can you can make him appear different. The only, only real animators can <laughs> will notice. Yeah. So thanks for watching, thanks, this is just a short tutorial, thanks.